No matter who you are or where you live, if your passion is hunting, then make your dreams come true. Join us on a great safari and adventure as we traverse five continents in search of world's finest hunting trophies. Join the best professional hunters in the world in search for the best trophy animals. You will experience unforgettable hunting adventures and international cultures that few people on earth get to know. Share the thrill of the ultimate challenge to promote the sustained use of world's greatest renewable resources, wildlife conservation, and fair chase hunting. Feel the excitement, share the passion, join the experience of the ultimate adventure that this world has to offer. Let Safari Season take you there. Cheers. Just a great trip here in Mauritius. No! <laughs> I want three of us. Oh, is this timed? Yes. In this episode of Safari Season, our honorable guest is the most famous bow hunter and host of the show Ultimate Shot, Archie Nesbitt. Well, here's your great trip. Who is that organization that did this Safari Season? Yeah. Safari Season organized this trip? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Great yeah. job, yeah. And great job for yeah. Archie. The, yeah, you, you got that big monster. Yeah. In that episode of Safari Season, we would undertake an exotic safari at Mauritius Island. The Heavenly Island is at 200 kilometers southeast beyond the African continent and at 900 kilometers east of Madagascar. The island is not small at all. With an area of 1,865 square kilometers, it offers a broad range of exotic habitats to wildlife. The tropical climate is typical marine. A seaside strip that separates the densely growing sub-equatorial forest from the sea stretches at 330 kilometers. The secret behind the force of attraction for the hunting fans is probably not the perfect beaches, but the opportunity for hunting and fishing simultaneously. The secret is also not in the alluring waves for surfers. These stones were brought from the river. These are volcanic stones and throughout the years, the water used to push and bump them and make them that smooth. The Mauritius Island, just like the other three islands, the island of St. Brandon, Rodriguez, and Agalega resulted from volcanic activity. The locals have a legend about the shore of round stones. According to that legend, the rocks retell the stories about pirate captains, that used the island for recruiting slaves and extracting natural deposits. They're just like marble. In addition to the beaches and five-star hotels, the island attracts the continentals thanks to its unique underwater world. It is not by chance that Mauritius Island is among the top destinations for deep water anglers. Exactly at that island, many of the record-breaking blue and black marlin were caught throughout the years. We had already tried our luck once in deep water fishing here, at the island, but in vain. In addition to the 10 2 kilo skipjack tuna, we could not hook the marlin onto our bait. It is true that some of us got the unique opportunity to swim alongside whale sharks, but the idea of catching marlin had full command over us.
Archie was eager and impatient to hear the whistling sound of the fibers unrolling down the reel. In addition to the world records of black and blue marlin, here beyond the reef in the deep waters near the island, record-breaking mako sharks, blue sharks, tiger sharks, and many worthy trophies of dorado, yellowfin tuna, skipjack tuna, and wahoo were caught. Well, the fiber we used is 1 in 30 pounds, just like that. That is what we use. 1 in 30. 1 in 30, yes. We could use 80 and 50 as well. We'll keep the fibers from messing with the racks. We could catch many of the predator fish species, as well as large marlins, tuna, dorado, wahoo, spearfish, and barracuda. That's good. In some minutes time, we will start descending the angles in the water. So you could see us precisely making up the line. Finally, we will be catching fish, F-I-S-H. There is a huge marlin here, but it is not the right time of year, so we will see. We will have a great time. I hope we will catch one or two of them. There are around 12 fish species here. These are the huge tunas, so I hope we will see a little bit of action. Today is a magnificent day in the sea. Seagull's presence is the perfect sign of a skipjack tuna passage being present. This is the smallest representative of the tuna family. We were about to catch several in order to get bait for their larger neighbors included on our list. This is what happens when you have six sticks in the water and it simultaneously bites at all of them. After the enormous biting and crew's rapid and professional intervention to untangle the angle sticks, we were ready to leave the bait for the large fish. Look at them, how skillful they are. See, when we troll with blue rest, we use this to, to cross the elastic. We can move it up. Right. And when we use la bait, we put it indirectly. Oh, 
All oh, right. It's more so when a fish attacks a live bait. Okay. Right. The lines with the large baits require special racks and perfectly precise descending mechanism. With an ordinary rubber band rolled several times around the pinch, the professional fisherman achieved quite a precise pressure. The trick was about the pinch not letting the main fiber down, while the current was drawing the two kilo baits and at the same time some of the giant predators hit to release the fiber advance. The bait released that way would be fully swallowed by the large fish, and together with it, the huge and robust hook would get in its mouth. Then it would all be up to the fisherman's skills and luck. It's still alive. After nearly 40 minutes of trolling, the large baits were still in good condition, but our hosts had to check them, being the professionals they are. The probability of something large biting was already almost zero, just like the time we've devoted to fishing. A hunting adventure was waiting for us at the shore that we were not to forget. We were already willing to give up and make peace with it, to put it figuratively, but destiny had other plans for us. Luck hit us as if it wanted to reward us in the last minutes of our cruise for the efforts made and the desire with which the whole team undertook that marine adventure. Archie had hooked a big striped marlin. The fish is famous for its never give up attitude and is one of the most respected trophy fish in the waters of the Indian Ocean. The more the marlin approached the boat, the stronger the fish's attempts to free itself became. Archie had already made a lot of effort and was at the brink of his stamina when the marlin gave up struggling and allowed the bow hunter to draw it near the boat so that we could enjoy it before letting it back into the ocean. We touched the big fish for luck and sent it back to the depths from where we kidnapped it for a while. That day we experienced a unique adventure together with the hospitality of our hosts amidst the azure waters of the Indian Ocean. But it was time we got back to the hotel to prepare for the afternoon deer hunt. That was the secret of attracting hunters to the exotic island.